today is my one year mark and I have never had such a hard time since I started this one year ago than I have in this past month. It was kind of a miracle that I was doing so well for so long and there were a lot of challenges that I went through and I never fell off of my plan until just recently. This last couple of weeks has been so hard and I know that I, I'm going through it for a reason. One thing is that I have to recognize what happened when I did my healing work. What exactly did I learn from that and what brought me to the place where I wanted to change. And then throughout my journey, I was feeling like, you know, like I was hopeful for my life and I was hopeful for changes. And then after I had some things happen and um, I just lost all of my hope. And so I was recognizing what happened is I, I just felt like when I very first started, I had the healing work and I remember saying, I am afraid of my own power. And I realized, oh, I have the power to change my life. I can make it whatever I want. And being able to believe that was so powerful to me. And realizing that, oh, wow, I can make different choices. I, I have the power to do that. And that's what shifted me. So fast forward to... This past month, we've had I've had some things happen that felt super, super out of my control. And I just started, you know, holding on to things really tightly and I just totally lost hope. I lost hope a hundred percent. I lost hope. I lost I lost all of the things that I had been working so hard to gain. And I just was scared. And the only thing that I could control was the food that I ate. And I I just couldn't grab onto that. And I felt the same feelings that I felt this last 20 years of my life. The, the addiction of the food and how powerful it was and how I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't pull myself out of it. I know that it was because I lost hope. Luckily I have an amazing um, visiting teacher who, who I was able to confide in and she helped me um, Kind of get a perspective in what was happening and she told me something that was really interesting and she said that I'm being prepared for something even better than what I have been had been doing so I'm, I'm I can't remember exactly how she put it but it was like she's excited to see what I learned from this and what happens to me and my family when I overcome this hope crisis. I don't want to say faith crisis, but I guess it is kind of, even though I didn't lose faith in, in my heavenly father, I lost faith in my situation. And so instead of focusing on that heavenly father knows what's best for me and that he's creating this situation for me and what am I supposed to learn from it? I just went into just total sadness and, and, and loss of hope. And I just being able to recognize that and being able to get back on my knees and, and ask for help and to try to look at the things that I'm supposed to learn. Um, a lot of people would say, oh, you're doing so good. Like, this is so hard to lose weight and you're doing so good. And I remember thinking, this isn't hard for me. It wasn't hard for me. I wasn't fighting it. It was just something I was, I was happy. And I was, in, I was happy about the way my life was going and I was creating something that made, brought happiness. So it really wasn't hard. But then going back into the addiction and seeing how much control that the food had reminded me why people say that losing weight is so hard. And when you're in that state of mind, it, it's almost impossible, if not impossible. And so that's why I was reading a book about habits and they, in this book, it talked about some components of being able to change habits. And one of those things was to have hope or to believe that you can change. And that that's why in a 12 step group, God is always part of that, either God or a higher power, because you're in a place where you, you, 
don't believe that you can do it. You've let yourself down so many times that you actually don't believe it anymore. And so that piece of puzzle that's that's God or, or whatever you believe in, the higher power gives you that piece that you need to be able to change. I'm not really sure where to go from here. I do know that I, I want, I don't want this addiction to um, take over my life anymore. And I don't want to be full of fear. I want to be hopeful and I want to be excited and I want to take my life and create what I want out of it. And, you know, the thing I love the very most is being a mom. And I love being home and I think I get so wrapped up in making money and I get scared of not having enough that the fear starts running my life. And then when I let the fear run my life, food is the only thing that I have that I know for sure that's going to be there for me. And I know that's not the right state of mind, but that's just what happens when I let myself um, try to control it. And there's just certain things that I can't control in my life and I have to have faith and I have to rely on Heavenly Father to get me through it because He's the only one that knows what I'm going through and how it feels. Anyway, I was really wanting to do a weigh-in and do pictures and things like that because it's for the 23rd but I'm not going to. I, I don't... I know that I've put on some weight. I also don't want to be discouraged because what I want to do more than being skinny is to feel peaceful in my life. And I want to, I want to nourish my body because I literally feel sick. And it reminded me of how I used to feel every single day. I literally felt sick. And what happens is instead of thinking about, oh, I want that cookie, then I go and eat those cookies and I stuff myself and then all of a sudden I'm thinking, oh, I just feel so miserable, I just feel so sick. And it's this cycle, it takes me out of what's really going on in my life and, and focuses it on, you know, either getting the food or suffering because I ate too much. This is such an emotional journey for me. It's more emotional than, than and spiritual than anything. And like I said, I just I just want to keep this real and I don't even want to post this or even admit that, that I'm struggling. And I notice that on my Instagram page and things like that when I'm not doing good people don't reach out as much they when I'm like doing really great and I'm like you know inspiring other people then everybody's just like wow I'm, you know what I mean they're attracted to me and and they're you know interactive and when I'm not doing good I like repel people it's just kind of interesting um because when we're not doing well is when we need people to be there for us, but then nobody can get you out of that funk and accept you. I just want to do one day at a time my journey of getting healthy and dealing with my addiction to food and my way of coping with the stresses of life, finding new ways to cope instead of turning to food. But I am I am grateful for what I'm learning. And I know that my visiting teacher is right, that when I get over this hump and I start having progress again and I start believing in something better and believing in what I'm supposed to learn, that I will go through another, you know, really awesome phase. And, and that's where I want to be is just to feel peace and feel hope. And more than feeling skinny or feeling anything like that, it's, it's more emotional for me. Today I'm doing good. 
I'm in a good mindset. I woke up and I started my day with a prayer and I was listening to um, talks from our prophet and trying to bring the Spirit of God into my life so that I can see myself in His eyes and I can see why I'm going through this and I can see that it doesn't matter what I go through as long as I have Heavenly Father in my corner. I can't go wrong and He will lead me to the things that I need to learn and the things that I need to do if I will just listen.